Hello. You're looking at the left driver's side hood latch and you're going to see firsthand what happens when the striker comes down and latches into the um, uh, latch itself. And then you're going to see what happens when, uh, when I pull the uh, latch re uh, release in the front stuff to to understand what's happening with our latches when they uh, they don't latch. Did you see it? Okay, I hope you didn't get your head hurt. Uh, I'm gonna open her up now. Keep your eyes on the latch when I push the uh, latch release, okay? Alright, I'll let you out in a minute. Here's the latch release. Did you see that? Now I'm going to pull the hood up. I'm going to try it again, but instead of dropping it hard, I'm just going to ease it down and let's see what happens. Alright, watch your head now. I'm just going to release it at a light angle. Okay, did that, uh, did that latch? Looks like it did. Okay, I'm going to open it. Now watch the latch. Uh-oh. It did not latch. I don't hear any snap. So, it looks like if you don't drop it from a good distance, it didn't latch. Now I'm going to, I'm going to drop it again from a little higher distance. So watch yourself. Hey, how'd that do? Okay, I'm gonna push the latch release. Perfect, I hear it. And it pulls up nicely. I wanna thank you for participating in this and watching for me because I can't get into that little space that I have the camera mounted. So you've been most helpful. Okay, after reviewing the video, I did see that dropping the hood from a higher level locked each time. But if you try to be careful and ease it down from a lower level, uh, thinking you may be uh, damaging something if you slam it, uh, it looks like that uh, a low level drop has has a good chance of not latching and one thing I noticed is this thing when I pushed on the hood it sprung down quite a bit so that may contribute to some of that I'm gonna just drop it from there okay it looks like it latched and I'm gonna push on this this corner and can you see anything uh, flexing? I'm pushing down on it, kind of rocking it back and forth. Okay, now I'm going to see if it's actually latched by trying to release the lever. So you keep your eyes on it. I'm going to push it down. I can kind of feel the resistance so I know it is latched. There, it released. release the latch all you do is take your finger and push on that so you don't have to go around to the front every time you could do this with all your latches all of them have one of these releases this is the front uh, hood latch on the driver's side and right here is the cable that goes up to the uh, back latch toward the windshield to release it this right here this cable right here goes to the front release so you can see when you press the front release it's going to pull the back release also so we're trying to point out that if you had a failure of this cable to pull these latch releases you could uh, Pull this down, you'd have to get access to it somehow, and pull it back, 
and you can manually release it. You're not going to be able to do it from the outside because the uh, the pivot point is going to cover this area so you're going to have to get from up underneath to get it. So uh, let's just see how this uh, operates and how that latch latch works when we release the uh, hood. So keep your eyes on everything and let's see what we got. Perfect. Looks good. I hope it latched good and it looks like it did. I uh, can't pull it. And uh, I'm going to release it. Did you see the cable move? The back one's released and now I'm going to open her up. There we go. Well, that's the latch system for these hoods uh, on the player slingshot. And I have noticed that if you put some uh, wheel bearing grease or a heavy grease on them, it does improve the performance of the latch catching. Uh, I did that on all my latches and uh, I, in the beginning before I did that, I did have a lot of failures uh, of it latching. And uh, I also drop it from a good level and it slams down good and I have not had any latch uh, failures uh, since I adopted this greasing the latches. So it, it, it has a, an effect on it. You, you grease this, uh, the striker also, which is, is uh, the part that goes down in there. Okay, my friends, uh, again, I want to thank you very much for staying under the hood and watching these latches for me. And, us getting a little better understanding of how our latch system works so that uh, you'd be able to work with it if you had a failure. Uh, you just have to figure out how to get up underneath there and manually pull this if it ever fails to release. Or if uh, the back ones, uh, you would, you'd have to get access to this cable right here and you could release the back one if, uh, if it failed. So, I think I've given you enough information that uh, uh, you're a latch expert now on the Polaris Slingshot. Okay, until the next time, uh, I'll see you, okay? Thanks.